guys, Mike here at Amazing Tutorials, and welcome back to part three in our mini series on how to use the modeling toolkit in my 2016. All right. Now today we're going to talk about the multi cut tool. The multi cut tool is, to my knowledge, the replacement of the split polygon tool, and I'll explain. We'll take a simple polygon cube. We'll hit R. We'll scale that up. And we'll go up and open our modeling toolkit, which is this icon up here, this hammer cube thing. We're going to click on it. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to our multi cut tool. OK, so that is now active. You can see there are now blue lines on my edges. And when I hover my mouse over it, you can see that's kind of responding. OK, so we're going to start off easy. We're going to create diagonal edges in this cube face. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on my left mouse or left button on my mouse and I'm going to click here and I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. Easy as pie. We're going to do another one from here to here and enter. OK, cool. So this allows you to connect corners. But also, let's say I want one from here to here or even from here to here. Pretty cool stuff, huh? All right. So what you can also do, and I'll do this in this face here, is create odd shapes to create an opening. For example, I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to start to click mid-face. Kind of create an odd shape and end up in this corner down here. We're going to hit Enter, and I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard to get out of the multi-cut. I can now select it and delete it. All right. One more thing. What if we add the control key? So I'll do this in wireframe mode. So I'm hovering over and I'm going to hold down the control key. Oh, make sure I got my multi cut on. Sorry. OK. And as I hold down my control key, it's displaying a an edge that I can move over. And it's best to take a new cube for this because we kind of cut that up over there. So I'll just quickly do that. Hang on. Take a new cube. There we go. Turn on the multi cut. Hold down my control key and left click. And as you can see, I can now move it over here, over here, and so forth. Now let's click to put one into position. Click again, click again, click again, and so forth. So a very easy way to add edges. OK, that's all there's to it. So if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.